So, hopefully you just came from the first video. If not, I'm gonna leave an annotation on that first video so you can go back and watch it. So, it was pretty much me uh, talking about all the stuff I wanted to say a few days ago about the Asian industry. I might have left out some things I wanted to talk about, but it's too late. I forgot what it was and I didn't put in my notes. So, this second part is totally about this channel and the blog. And I'll do the same thing as I did for the first part and put annotations up so you can pick what you want to hear, I guess. Um, first of the updates, um, as I said, I've been having this terrible creative block on writing because I'm, I have too much to do. Like, uh, I need to, I have, I need to cover, um, three, no, four interviews, um, a concert report, um, plus 30 to 40 CDs I have on my table, plus some stuff about Gazette and some ranting and I just have a lot on my plate and I'm trying to break out of this block so I can catch up. So that's what I'm going to be trying to work on every weekend so there's always new content and I'm not behind. I'm slowly getting there so bear with me and, and thank you for supporting me. Most of all, thank you. So please have patience. Um, the contest is still going to go on. Um, once I get the things that I want to get up that are related to the contest, I will make another video and I will, I think I'll make another video. Most, more likely I will do, I will do a post and put the rules of what to do to enter into the raffle to win stuff. Um, if you haven't seen it, it was in the previous vlog, not a vlog, not today's vlog, but the last time I vlogged. When I was home uh, to win autographed items from Aavia and Oz. I have them with me. They're nice and safe and plastic and they shouldn't get damaged. So I look forward to giving that out. Um, so hopefully you guys will take advantage of that. Also I mentioned stuff about the Ducky and Miko show last vlog uh, that I wanted to bring it back if you guys wanted me to bring it back and it seemed like people had interest in it. So I'm not going to say any concrete date of when I will start working on putting it up, but hopefully I will. I'm gonna mess around with my one of my editors and see how that works out so I can chop it up, make a playlist, and what I'm gonna do is I'm borrowing another idea from someone else, but I'm going to talk about the episode before the actual episode so you know what goes on and the whole, you know, ins and out of the show. Because it was really fun to work on and I wish I could do more of it, but of course I can't. I already explained that, but that's what I'm going to do and hopefully I'll have that up ASAP when I get a chance because editing does take quite a while. And fortunately, most of the episodes are already edited. The only thing I have to do is take out the music videos to avoid the whole copyright thing. So I don't want to go through that all over again. Um, but the last couple episodes, I will have to take out the dead space and do some major editing because they were never edited. Um, hmm. I believe let's oh one last thing I have a new idea but I don't know whether I want to pursue it or not but I think it's a really fun idea um I've been doing these Miko versus things where I just rant about stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm like annoyed with and um and uh give me a second <laughs> I want to do like a music, I guess, retrospective thing, like of um, artists, groups, bands that have really changed me 
or movies, stuff like that. Um, this all became inspired by me listening to uh, not all of, but most of Darren Gray's disco discography in my car. Plus, with me not having cable for three weeks in my apartment, I've been watching live concerts. And I was watching, uh, I think it was Cold Vulgarism, and I noticed like a bunch of things that were just totally enlightening to me. And I thought of this idea of what if I talked about like the evolution of like a band or artist or whatever that really impacted me and like how they changed and things I like things I didn't like about them and I could break them up into different albums because it's just easier to uh, separate it that way so like first I would talk about like how I first got into them and maybe talk about like Maybe the first album, for example, uh, during Grey, like I would tell you how I first got into them and then talk about the first mini album, Mesa, uh, Mesa, or Mesa, and Gauze, and stuff. And my personal look on the band. The only little conflict I might have with this project, whether I pursue it or not, um, is with the two, well, kind of two posts I've already made, which was Miyavi, which I mentioned like my problems with it, but I didn't really go into super in depth with them, I don't think. And my upcoming Gazette post, like, I don't know if I want to do that with them because they both really impacted my life and Miyavi, well, I guess he still is my favorite Gerald solo artist, but, um, I guess I'll see what happens with it, but, um, I'm really hesitant about it because, um, the whole editing thing, um, I have a program, this is kind of nerdy, uh, sadness, but, uh, I have a program that I really, really loved that, um, that I got when I was doing Ducky and Miko show. And last year, I tried to install it on the computer I'm using right now, and it did not work very well. My laptop kept crashing, and saddened me a lot, because I, I couldn't get it fixed until, like, summertime this summer. If I do this, I don't know how detailed I want to go into the editing, like inserting videos or not, I'm not sure, but I don't know if I can do that with the editing programs I have now, because I really, really like the one I have, so I'm torn between whether I want to try it again and cross my fingers and pray to God that it doesn't crash my um, laptop again. Because I really loved it so much, it was so great, and I could do more, I had more options. So, anyway, but I'm, I'm sure I can get around it, and I don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon. I think I'll probably do it toward the end of the year, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's still other things I really need to focus on, aside of uh, concerning this channel and, of course, the vlog. So I won't worry about that too much. For now, I will probably put another uh, poll up and see if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, where I talk about my personal opinion on the growth of a band or artist or something that I'm really into. Or I don't know. If I do that, then maybe you guys can vote on which ones you would like to see, or maybe I'll pick. I'm, I'm not quite sure. For now, I'll just let you decide whether I should go about this project or not. Um, and let me say this again, it won't be anytime soon. I'll probably do it later when I have more time to mess around with it, because I don't see that happening right now, because I have too much on my plate. I really do. Um, anyway, thank you guys for bearing with me and supporting me, and I hope you continue to, um, watch this vlog, this vlog, and, uh, 
keep reading my post on Muddy Colt. Um, I'm still slowly but surely working on it. And continue to leave me feedback. Um, you can still leave me requests and questions you want me to answer, things you want me to rant on, and whatnot. Even though I have a lot, I don't mind having a little extra from you guys because this is all for you. And I love it and I love giving you guys things. So, anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'm going to get my ass in the gear with this vlog. Peace.